for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. For many years, religion has indoctrinated the indigenous people about a rapture before the coming destruction. The synagogue of Satan programmed the sheep to believe right before the Most High display his wrath upon his enemies, Jesus, whom the world accepted as the Most High in the flesh, would rescue them from the coming judgment on the wicked. The workers of iniquity managed to convince the indigenous people that if they accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they will escape the judgments decreed on the heathen nations. With numerous indigenous people accepting the rapture doctrine, they are trading the Most High for a lesser God. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. The indigenous people need to understand, when you accept a doctrine, you become a partaker from the consequences of the doctrine. Make sure the doctrines you align yourself with is of the Most High. When you accept doctrines like the rapture, you are making the God of this world your savior. Religion will make it appear as if you are accepting the Most High, the Elohim of Israel, but you're not. When the church present a graven image and say that image represents the Most High in the flesh, it goes against what the Most High command of his people. The Most High said, do not make any graven images. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. In the awakening, there is a graven image depicting the Messiah as well. To some Israelites, the image is a better representation of the Messiah. However, nobody is respecting the fact that the Most High said, make no such images and do not bow down to them. Can you discern how the kingdom of darkness deceived many into transgressing the laws of the Most High? How could you follow doctrines from institutions or assemblies that are transgressing the laws of the Most High? This would be a good indicator that the Most High is not among them. Yah would not approve any of the graven images. The Most High clearly told the indigenous black people not to make any graven images. According to the rapture doctrine, if you accept white Jesus, you will escape the coming judgment on the nations. Why must you accept a graven image to be saved? The reason the kingdom of darkness made it this way, Satan must have your permission before he can do anything to you. To get permission, he presents half-truth to deceive you into accepting the deception. Many people believe they are accepting the Elohim of Israel. However, they are accepting a false God that cannot save them. When the workers of iniquity say, you must accept Jesus to be saved, that is their way of getting consent. The indigenous people do not realize they are giving consent to a demonic entity disguised as the Messiah to save them. Remember, the scripture says Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. His ministers also disguised themselves. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. It is important to have ears to hear. The people believe they are following the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but are not. You must examine every doctrine. If the root to the doctrine comes from organized religion, it is not of the Most High. The Israelites in the awakening need to be careful as well because the demonic doctrines from religion are making their way into the awakening. Israelites, you can't accept the truth of the Most High's words and accept religious doctrines. Religion teach half-truth. A half-truth is a complete lie. The Most High seek for His people to serve in the Spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. 
God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The truth is not being taught in organized religion. It's either you believe the Most High about Jacob's trouble or accept religion's false interpretation of Jacob's trouble via the rapture doctrine. I've noticed how the indigenous people seem to believe they can transform something that is rooted in evil into pure holy things that are acceptable to the Most High. For example, many people believe they can form a marriage covenant with the seed of the serpent and the Most High would bless the union. Some indigenous people believe they can produce good fruits with the children of the fallen whose seed is corrupt and rooted in evil. What do light have in common with darkness? The Most High said, do not be unequally yoked. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? The scripture said, can a rotten tree produce good fruits? I have never seen a person eat rotten fruits and feel good afterwards. When something is spoiled, you trash it. The indigenous people seem to believe they can take what is spoiled and make something good out of it. How can the seed of the fallen produce good fruits if the seed is spoiled? A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Too many indigenous people believe they can transform the serpent seed into people of righteousness. The indigenous people have been living among the fallen for multiple generations, yet the world remains corrupt. The indigenous people failed to influence the seed of the fallen to follow the Most High and abide by his laws and statutes. Instead of being the light to the world, the seed of the fallen has successfully led the indigenous people astray into the arms of Satan. That is why the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? It is time for the indigenous people to wake up. The apple never fall far from the tree. The children of the colonizers have the same characteristics with their fathers. Discrimination and racism continue in every generation because the children inherit their father's mentality. The children of the fallen have the spirit of their fathers and a mortal body like their mothers. The Most High said not to intermingle with them. Follow the Most High's commands. The scripture said that his people perish from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Saying I didn't know is not an excuse with the Most High. The Israelites have a history of trading the Most High as their king for the little gods. Remember when the Israelites begged Samuel to place a human king over them like the other heathen nations. And all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. The Israelites were rejecting the Most High as their king, and they didn't know. They thought if they asked for a king like the heathens, they also had access to the Most High. You cannot serve two masters. The Most High said to Samuel, they are not rejecting you, they are rejecting me. Likewise, when you accept demonic doctrines like the rapture, the indigenous people do not realize they are rejecting the Most High through half-truth in religion. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people, and all that they say unto thee. But they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. How are the Israelites to lead the heathens if they are following the heathens? The indigenous people always wants to be like the heathens. Somehow, many Israelites believe they can save the serpent seed through their Israelite identity or self-righteousness. Never mind that the scripture said, the righteous are barely saved. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Just because you are an awakened Israelite and marry the stranger or the children of the fallen, being awakened is not going to save your partner. You can't even save yourself, let alone save someone else. Self-righteousness do not save anyone. 
Indigenous people, it is important to dissect every doctrine from every angle before accepting. You are held accountable for what you don't know. You must be vigilant at this hour. Now than ever, the indigenous people must humble themselves. We are living in trying times. The reason it was important for you to understand what you are accepting, especially with the rapture doctrine, the Most High only have a remnant. The beast system via religion wants to make it seem as if everyone who accepts Jesus Christ will be saved. Christianity is the largest faith in religion. Christianity has approximately 2.4 billion believers. According to recent data, 87% of the world's population have some sort of religious faith. Approximately 7% of the world's population are atheists. If you add both groups together, you have a combined total of 94% of the world's population trapped in religion or have no connection with the Most High through atheism. The scriptures clearly said, broad is the road that leads to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. It is time for the indigenous people to open their eyes. The indigenous black people must view what is happening in the world in the most highest perspective. Approximately 6% of this world's population is not tied to organized religion and atheism. Atheism is on the rise due to the increase of manipulation and false doctrine in religion. I would like to say to the indigenous black people who want to become a member of the atheist community, only a fool say in his heart, there is no God. The unclean spirits that influence an atheist to reject the Most High, believe in the Most High. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Thou believest that there is one God? Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. The world's population is around 7.8 billion. 6% of 7.8 billion round up to 468 million. 468 million is less than the total of believers in Christianity. Remember, Christianity is the largest and most popular faith in religion. Let us dig deeper. Out of the 468 million people that are not associated with religion, how many are Israelites? The Most High said his people would be a few among the heathens. Israelites, it is important to have a realistic view of the scriptures. The beast culture wants to make it seem if you are taken, it is a good thing. The scripture said in 2 Ezra chapter 13 verse 16, Woe to them that are not left behind. For as I conceive in mine understanding, Woe unto them that shall be left in those days, and much more woe unto them that are not left behind. The indigenous people really need to dig deep into the scriptures to seek the truth for themselves. 468 million is not significant compared to the billions of people living on earth today. However, 468 million is still a high amount to be a part of the remnant. The workers of iniquity are lying to the sheep. Instead of preparing the people and helping them understand the times we're living in, the workers of iniquity are telling the sheep in religion to trust their governments. Any spiritual leader that sides with the beast system instead of the words of the Most High is not fit to teach the people of the Most High. The Most High reserve harsh judgment for the wicked spiritual leaders leading the sheep astray. Indigenous people, do not place your salvation in the hands of men. It is important to work out your own salvation. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Approximately 6% of the world's population is not associated with religion and atheism. The scripture said, narrow is the road that leads to life. Only a few will find that road. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Indigenous people, truth is important because when you know the truth, it will make you free. The scriptures must be fulfilled. 
The scripture said, narrow is the road that leads to life. 87% of the world's population have some sort of religious faith. 87% is not the narrow road. Having a membership in the largest and the most popular faith in religion is not the narrow road that leads to life. The scripture said what is popular with the world is an abomination to the most high. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The workers of iniquity have a way of ignoring the scriptures that do not align with their doctrines. By now, everyone should know Satan is the founding father to all religion. You will not find the most high in religion. Indigenous black people believe the workers of iniquity when they say all religions serve one God. The God they speak of is the God of this world, Satan. A remnant is not billions of people. A remnant is a small amount. 87% of the world's population trapping religion does not equal to the remnant the Most High said that would return. It shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. Indigenous people, can you discern why you must dissect every doctrine? The rapture doctrine give the indigenous people a false sense of security. If you are in religion, you are not safe. The rapture doctrine disabled the people because many are living a lawless life and they believe they will be rescued before the destruction. The rapture doctrine does not align with the remnant the Most High said would return to serve him. A lot of indigenous people will be in for a rude awakening. The scripture said many will say I did this in your name and that in your name. The Most High will say, Depart from me, I never knew you. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The Most High has a history of saving a few and destroying entire nations. The Most High used one family to repopulate the earth after the flood. Wiping the world of his people and starting over is nothing new for the Most High. The indigenous people who lived during the time of Noah live longer than the people living today. The scriptures reveal Noah was 500 years old when he had his sons Japheth, Ham, and Shem. The scriptures reveal Noah lived over 900 years. And Noah was 500 years old. And Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And all the days of Noah were 950 years. And he died. I believe the world's population was in the millions, if not billions, during the time of Noah. It was during the time of Jared, the fallen angels, the watchers, infiltrate the indigenous people's bloodline to create an abominable group of mankind. During the times of Noah, the indigenous people in the seed of the fallen were multiplying on the earth. Out of the millions of people living during the times of Noah prior to the flood, the Most High saved only eight people. Let that sink in, indigenous people all over the world. Religion is teaching the indigenous black people, if you accept Jesus, you will be saved and raptured away. The scripture said only a remnant. The Most High saved eight people during the time of Noah. A remnant do not equal to billions or even millions. A remnant is a small group. Two-thirds of 7.8 billion is 5.2 billion, which equals to 66% of today's population. If 94% of today's population are trapped in religion and are atheists, 
The remnant is not what the seed of the fallen is teaching the workers of iniquity in Bible college. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The Most High destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and saved Lot and his family. Somehow in this generation, the indigenous people are led to believe by the doctrines they accepted in religion, they will be saved just for accepting Jesus. Israelites and indigenous people do not accept the ways of the beast culture. The beast system is set up to lead you away from the Most High. You will not find the remnant in religion. The Most High is waking up his elect. The Most High is crying out to his people to come out of the house of bondage, come out of her. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. The remnant are the people the beast system hate. The remnant reminds the workers of iniquity of the Most High. That is why they are hated. The remnant are those who trust the Most High and have returned to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The remnant are those who truly love the Most High and his people. The remnant is not following the beast culture. The remnant have separated from the beast system. It is important for the remnant to stay focused on the Most High. The Most High will lead the remnant of his people in the direction they should go. Indigenous people, do not let the beast culture shame and pressure you to accept the ways of the beast system. The remnant live among the dead. The dead don't know they are dead. The dead believe they are saved and have a first class ticket to heaven simply because they accepted Jesus. Indigenous people, you have come too far and overcome too much to allow the kingdom of darkness to prevail in your life. Now is the time to break free from the strongholds the kingdom of darkness has placed on your life. The Most High is making the truth known. The indigenous black people cannot afford to live in ignorance. The scripture said some indigenous people would have itching ears and will turn away from the truth. But the time will come when they will not endure sounder doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Israelites, do not find yourself among the dead who have itching ears and turning away from the truth. The truth is not popular in the beast system. The indigenous people must have a realistic view of the scriptures. The beast system has altered the scriptures to favor their narratives. Do not be deceived. Allow the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. To the remnant of the Most High, stand firm and trust the Most High. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid.